Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi, Angela. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. Post-COVID good. Hey. <laughs> you look great. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, well, like uh, yeah. Okay, good. So <laughs> today uh, we are back with another topic uh, provided by Carl. Thank you to Carl at N20 Games. And what are we talking about today, Angela? Today we're talking about games that are based on IPs. So like movies, video games, books, comic, all that good stuff. All the good stuff, um, which uh, a lot of times uh, they're very criticized because they, it seems like they're just games that you just put a theme on them and send them out and they expect them to be accepted because of the IP. Um, so we're going to talk about the ones that are actually good or at least that we enjoy from an IP. Yeah, or ones we think we might enjoy. Because Annabelle, as usual, um, I haven't played a lot of them <laughs> because you know what I'm like. I buy games and then they just go on my shelf and then I buy new games. So <laughs> yeah, I understand. It's okay. At least um, we'll, maybe we'll hear about some new ones. Uh, at least I'm looking forward to hear about some new games that I might not know about that you know about because you always uh, share some light of uh, this or that new game. Actually, with that in mind, the first game I'm going to talk about, based on a movie, I believe you were the one that told me about it. Um, so uh, my favorite game right now that is from a movie, of course, what movie do you think that I would pick? Well, I want to say Underworld, but I there's no game based on that, is there? No, no. But what would be the second choice? Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, it is Star Wars. So right now, my favorite uh, movie uh, game, my favorite ba game based on a movie is uh, Star Wars Dark Side Rising. Oh, and good. I'm pretty sure you told me about that. Yeah, that's a good one, actually. It is. It is really fun. I have been enjoying it a lot. Actually, even though I own it and I played it at home uh, since I got it, I played it like back to back three or four times. And then I went to the con this past weekend and I played it there too. Like I have no problem. <laughs> yeah. Usually I try to stay away from games that I own because I want to try new games at the convention. But no, I went for it. I'm like, I'm playing this again. It's so much fun. <laughs> oh, good. That's good that you like it that much. Yeah, I do. I do. Um, so uh, Dark Side Rising is similar to uh, Thanos Rising. Uh, you have it's a co-op game. You have uh, you're recruiting uh, rebels, kind of building a, a bigger army of rebels, uh, and rolling dice and trying to uh, go faster at uh, destroying Imperials than Darth Vader is uh, destroying Rebels. And of course, you can't, you can't fight Darth Vader. There's no way you're going to go against that guy. Uh, so you just try to avoid him as much as possible. Um, but in a nutshell, that is a, it's a fun co-op if you're rolling dice. There's a lot of way to mitigate uh, bad luck or bad rollings like some of us have <laughs> and that is, yeah so that's uh star wars uh dark side rising my favorite movie game right now yeah i would agree with that one actually that's i, I didn't even put that on my list that is a good one that and thanos rising because mm -hmm. it's easy to play as well and really easy to teach yes good yes. choice i like that one what is right. your favorite right so <laughs> i've got movie games on my list here and i own all these that's good but I've not played any of them. Okay. So, okay. Goonies, Rocketeer, Back to the Future. Oh, I have played one. I've played Back to the Future. Back to the okay. Future and yours. Um, so I'll talk about Back to the Future because I have actually played that one. I really liked everything about this, the way it looked, um, the way it played. It had a clever um, thing in it where you had to make sure the photo didn't fade away like in the movie. You know, okay. Like, your family members but there's one um thing in it and it's biff so the bad guy in back to the future and the he's on the dice from memory and it just seemed to come up so often that it made it impossible to win uh, and that's why i haven't played it since but i have kept it because it looked so nice but that guy, that if thing, holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's the name of it? Because I know there's a couple of Back to the Future games. So what's I the name like, of That one is Back to the Future, Back in Time, maybe? Back in Time, okay. Yeah, okay. I know there's a couple. There's a dice one as well, isn't there? There's a couple. I, just, I have really haven't played many of them. Yeah. Which is, is, is weird because I love Back to the Future. Like, I mean, yeah. I grew up in love with Michael J. Fox and all the movies. Um, but, you know, one thing that you mentioned that I um, 
that I really, really enjoyed is that you talked about how it kind of brings you back to the movie. And yeah. that is one thing that uh, you don't always get. Like, for example, the game that I mentioned, yeah, it's a great Star Wars game, but I don't feel like I'm playing the movie yeah. at all when I'm playing it, right? Um, if if I was going to pick a game that did that, I played one during the convention that is really hard to find, but if you have not played this game, wow, you really feel like you're living, uh, I think it's episode one, The Phantom Menace. Um, the game is called uh, Star Wars uh, The Queen's Gambit, and you are living that movie. Oh my goodness, what a game. So that, what you said, reminded me of, oh, yeah, you, when, for these IP, it's so cool when you actually when the when you can kind of feel like yeah you you're in back to the future you the, the photos fading that's i think queen's gambit that's really expensive to buy now isn't it it's out of print yeah it is very expensive the record though annabelle i never want to relive that movie <laughs> okay <laughs> But you don't get to relive the politics in it. You're fighting the <laughs> battle of Naboo. You're going through the palace, killing battle droids, and then you have uh, Darth Va um, Darth Maul and Obi Wan and Qui Gon fighting, and Anakin on the on the Naboo fighter. So, so you don't get to relive the the yeah. But I understand. <laughs> what <you're saying. laughs> All right, it's, I think it's your turn now, isn't it? Yeah, so uh, let's see. What about comics? So uh, we've, I've talked about uh, this particular game before, so I'm not going to go into too much details. My favorite uh, game based on a comic is Marvel Champion. Um, that game is just, you, you, you kind of feel like you're living in your character's shoes because you have the alter ego, and each character is very unique and has very thematic kind of powers. Um, it's a um, more, mostly hand management have multi-use uh, for your cards. You can either use them to pay resources, which means you can use them to pay for other cards. Um, so you kind of have to know, <laughs> out of all these great cards, which ones do I want to use and which ones can I toss? Um, but if I if I had to pick another one that I haven't talked about, but I think I did talk about it a little bit, would be Kick-Ass. Um, that's, um, that's another great, fun time where uh, it feels very much like you are one of the characters in the movie, and I like that about it. You're, you're balancing your, your life uh, while you're also trying to defeat monsters because you're a superhero. So those will be my two top, my top two. Oh, nice choices. And Kick-Ass, a lot of people might not know about that one as well. So, yeah, right. good. All right, for my comic, I've got all the Marvel stuff, as you know, Marvel United, Marvel Champions, uh, and... I haven't played them. So, so for my comic one, I've actually chosen uh, Thanos Rising. Oh, okay. So <laughs> Interesting. Um, yeah. So that, and you know that that's a good game because it's basically the same as the one you've just mentioned. Exactly. And I like it because it's, like I said, it's easy to uh, teach and teach. learn and play. So what does and that tell you guys? Thanos Rising, Dark Side Rising. We like those mechanics. We definitely, it's, it's a good uh, family. Fun game based on those IPs mm -hmm. uh, have a look at that actually a Marvel Splendor as well isn't too isn't too bad with the Infinity Stones that's a good one yeah I just got that one in today I haven't opened it yet oh I think but... you'll like it it's fun it's fun that one um if you don't look through the cards and you just mm -hmm. put them out and then when the new ones come out you're like oh that's such and such and, you know <laughs> like seeing the characters is really fun that, okay, so I'm going to do that. That means no unboxing for you guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I actually I actually got it because, well, I mean, it was a good deal. Um, but uh, because because you told me it was more fun than Splendor, so I went for it. <laughs> yeah, well, I like it more than Splendor because it's Marvel. Mm -hmm, so exactly. Like in some of the characters. Like, it's got some characters in there that aren't, like, really well known, but I knew them from when I used to collect Marvel um, swap cards. Wow, that's really aging myself, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll just edit that one out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I guess yeah, no, I mean, for a reason, right? <laughs> and that's why it's called Borg and Grand, right? If not, yeah. you, know, you have to change your name. So. Uh, all right. So uh, TV. Let's talk about TV. Um my favorite game based on a TV show is The Walking Dead No Sanctuary. And the reason why I picked that one is because, again, when you play that, you really feel like you're in an episode of The Walking Dead. It's a co-op game. However, 
you can you, sometimes you feel like you're, you, you're you're not helping but in the contrary you're actually messing up just like in the walking dead <laughs> you're messing up the progress of the group um because you can't help uh the only reason why i don't play it that much is because uh i believe that every time you have to play it you have to have six characters so imagine me controlling six characters yeah and i think it's uh it goes it's, it's two to six players so you're not supposed to play it solo but since it's a co-op I give it a go anyways. Uh, but basically, you're just completing missions and every turn, it's, 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 um, it has cards. So every turn, you're going to pick a card and you're going to try to help with that card. You can do certain actions. Uh, and the minis are amazing. I need to paint them. Um, but I didn't know how to paint back then when I got it. Uh, so <laughs> And it has all of the characters that you love from the game. So really cool. That sounds good, yeah. Um, is it, does it play like Dead of Winter? Is it any anything similar to that? Yeah, I would think I would compare it more to a dungeon crawler. You're you're moving okay. around the board, trying to get into kind of like um, last night on Earth, where you're trying to walk it, get into rooms so you can search the rooms and find better pieces of equipment. I gotta say, I haven't played it in a long time, um, so I don't remember the specifics. But um, yeah. but it's more it's like more that, like, more of a dungeon crawler type of game. Although yeah. not really, because you're not in, you're, in a, you're not in a dungeon, but you're exploring. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Well, if it makes it feel like the TV show, that's a good that's a good pick, isn't it? So. That's definitely a good thing. <laughs> yeah. So I've got two on my list um, for TV, and the reason I've got two is one of them is a little bit cheaty. So I've got Obsession on there, which everyone says is based on Downton Abbey, um, right. which really yeah. isn't true because I, from memory, Obsession is uh, based in the mid nineteenth century. So uh -huh. and Downton Abbey, I think, is actually based in the early twentieth century. So they're a good few hundred years apart, <laughs> um, but it does have that feel when you're playing it. And the other one um, that I've got on there for TV is Thunderbird, which I haven't played since I got it. <laughs> so it's been okay. a um, from memory it plays a little bit like pandemic which is probably why i've still got it right because um, you like that yeah. thunder i wouldn't say i'm a huge thunderbirds tv fan i used to watch it when i was younger but yeah the game's not too shabby okay that sounds great uh i gotta say for my for my honorable mention i kind of cheated too <laughs> because it's uh, horrified which is a game about uh you know the the original monsters like Dracula and uh, the Invisible Man and all those that I used to watch on TV when I was a kid. Um, so, but I don't know if you can call it like an IP per se. Uh, but you know, it's, an IP. it's based on Universal Monsters, right? So yeah, how did I not think of that? That would definitely um, have been on my list. I like that yeah, one a lot. Yeah, that's a fun game. Uh, it's very easy to teach. Yeah. Very easy to play. However, every monster. So, so you're you're uh, in any every game, depending on what monster you pick, it's going to be different because each monster takes different uh, objectives to beat. Yeah. Um, so that's the fun part. But basically, you have action points that you use to move around the board and to fight and complete objectives. So that's uh, horrified. And that was my horrible mention. <laughs> my honorable yeah. mention, not my horrible mention. There's a new one now, isn't there? American, is it American Monsters or something? Yeah, yeah it's I exactly the that. same. Uh, I played it at the con. It's exactly the same with, uh, I guess, improved components, but it's the same different thing. Monsters. Yeah, yeah, different monsters, which means that is it is the same game, but every monster is going to have a different way to beat it. So you feel like you're playing completely different in a completely different way because you know like uh i played against the chupacabra and you have to save the goats in order to uh, be able to <laughs> yeah so, yeah it's thematic for sure you know and i'm puerto rican so i grew up with the chupacabra stories you know yeah, <laughs> so, yeah that sounds good so i just talked let me go let's go back to you uh is it video games that we're missing oh do you know what i i went through my games earlier and i was well I was kind of surprised, but then not overly surprised because, as you know, I'm a huge video gamer, so I'm more likely to play the video game than a board game based on the video game. Um, okay. I do own Tomb Raider, and it's still in shrink, and the reason it's in shrink is that the reviews on it are dire, so I never felt the urge to um, open it. I bought it as, like, a collectible thing because it's Tomb Raider, and that's one of my favourite games. Okay. Um, did I have anything else on my video games? Oh, I, the one uh, video game game that 
is on my wants list is this war of mine, which has always sounded really interesting to me. It's quite bleak and dark and um, survivory. I don't know What's the name of it? This war of mine. I think oh, it's, like, it's like another apocalyptic type thing where you're trying to survive. Yeah, that game, that game. <laughs> oh, no, really? I love that game. Oh, I, love the, I love the board game so much that I started playing the video game. Um, and it's, I, I mean, they're both, they're both really great, but I got to say there's something about the board game and those stories that you don't get so much in the video game. In the video game, you're mostly, you know, just, just walking and surviving and killing things. The board game is so emotional and they, takes you in this roller coaster what a what a good game that that is awesome i just i guess i didn't count it as a video game game because i played the board game first <laughs> so. yeah. i i was not sure which one came first to be honest i mm. assumed maybe the board game came after the video game i don't, I don't know i really I don't, don't know. know but they're both awesome both the video game and the and the, the game the board game they're really good um so yeah if i would have if I would have remembered that one, I probably would have picked that one. But I, <laughs> even though I own it, I skipped it thinking it wasn't based on an IP, but it is. You're right. My video game, my favorite video game is going to make so much sense. Uh, it's called Doom. And uh, it's based on the Doom video game. And the reason why I would have picked it is because it's, it's pretty much descent with soldiers, with Marines, space guys, or whatever they're called. It's but it's... Space Marines, thank you. <laughs> but really, I mean, it, it's descent. Don't, don't, it's, it's the same thing. You know, it's a dungeon crawler in space. Um, so, of course, I'm going to love it. You know, you, you're walking around, picking up uh, better weapons, uh, rolling to defeat uh, monsters on the board, completing missions. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's, it, it, it's kind of like a dungeon crawler in space. So why, what's not to love from my perspective? I would not. I haven't played it in a long time, but I'm not getting rid of that one. Um, that one is not going to get purged. <laughs> and then um, if I had to pick like an honorable mention, it would be uh, WoW, uh, World Warcraft, the board game. Uh, followed by World Warcraft Pandemic, but the board game is still... <laughs> Because again, when you're playing the board game, you feel like you're playing a video game in a way because you're leveling up uh, your items, your equipment, your spells. Every time you level up, you gain a new uh, ability, kind of like in the in the video game. Um, you get to fight all the monsters from from World of Warcraft, which is really cool. So that would be my honorable mention. Nice. Yeah. And I think I it was the first that. game I ever bought. Oh, really? It was the first game I ever bought. I remember going into Cool Stuff Inc. And back when it was like a big dark warehouse, and you would walk around and see all of these games all the way to the ceiling. And I saw that one, and it was a big box. And I'm like, that's the one I want. I don't care about uh, anything else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, oh, what else have we got? Did, did we do books? Oh, we did. We did comics, didn't we? Because I had Shakespeare um, on my comic slash books. Because that was the only thing I could find that was sort of related to books. Yeah, I don't think I have anything. I might have one that's a book, but I don't know. So what's Shakespeare about? Is it a Euro? Do you know what? I don't remember. I've played it mm -hmm. once. I played it when I first got it. Um, but it's based on the works of William Shakespeare. So that's why I put it in the book section. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I, I don't know that one. It sounds like it would be, it could be anything. It could be a word game. <laughs> No, no, it's a it's a proper it's um a proper game. It's not like a word game or anything. Um, are you saying word games are not proper? <laughs> oh, sorry, no. Oh, I played a brilliant word game on the weekend that I'm going to drop in, even though it's not uh, based on an IP. Just to let you what, know, what is it? That's so clover. If you haven't played it and you're looking no. for a hilarious game, that that's the one to get. Okay, that's so clover. Yeah, I will yeah. look into that. Yeah. All right, so I think then with that, it's game time. Yes, it is. We're going to put up a picture today um, of a component from a game, and you have to tell us what the game is that the component is from. We don't have the component, but it's here. Uh, he <laughs> the other way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here. There it is. Yeah, there it is. 
match the component. <laughs> What's that from? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. Uh, and also, if you have a topic that you'd like for us to discuss, let us know in the comments and we will get to it. No matter what it is. No matter what it is. Well, well, <laughs> don't go <laughs> wild, you guys. Got to be, gotta be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. And with that, we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to everybody. Bye. You play more games. <laughs>